He honore he kororia ki te atua tihei mauriora. Nau mai haere mai ki tenei whare karakia, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. Good morning school, welcome to chapel, please be seated. This morning's service is being led by 9FW Group 1 and our theme is loyalty. Let's go to our opening responses. The Lord be with you. This is the day which the Lord has made. Please bow your heads for the prayer of the day. God of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of your name. Increase in us all goodness, and of your great mercy keep us in the same. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please stand for the opening hymn, Amazing Grace. Bible readings, John chapter 4, Jesus talks about loving and staying loyal to one another. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. Here ends the reading. All right, we're gonna do a quick game of true or false. So can I get you all to stand, please? All right, so remain standing if you believe the answer is true and please sit if you think the answer is false. The longest marriage lasted for less than 80 years. False. 86 years and 290 days. All right, stand again. Yep. All right, same again. Stand if you think it's true, sit if you think it's false. The longest time working for one company was more than 80 years. It's true, held by a Brazilian man. All right, stand again. The dog is the most, most loyal animal. Same again, stand if you think it's true, sit if you think it's false. It's the wolf. They 
stand again. There is a current member of staff that has worked here for more than 30 years. True or false? True. Mr. Wilson. Stand again. The most disloyal animal to their gender is the sea cucumber. True or false? The oyster. All right, last on send. Captain America's most loyal friend is the Falcon, aka Sam Wilson. False, you're right. All right, please be seated. Please be seated. <clears throat> Loyalty. This word can mean so much. Symbolized by chains that will never be broken, it reminds us of how when we are loyal, that bond, that relationship can never be broken. Loyalty is unwavering commitment and devotion to someone or something. In a world marked by constant change, loyalty serves as a guiding principle, making strong relationships, strengthening our trust, and firm, firmly establishing a sense of security. The dictionary states that loyalty is a strong feeling of support or allegiance. Synonyms include faithfulness, allegiance, and being devoted. That's what the dictionary thinks. What do you think? Let's just have a few seconds to think about that. What does it mean to you? Loyalty can mean different things to other people. For me, it means supporting one another and building a strong sense of allegiance. For others, it might mean staying loyal to someone, even if that someone has had something impact on them negatively. We all have different opinions of loyalty, but in some way, all our opinions lead to the same things. Support, faithfulness, respect. Ultimately, loyalty is the powerful force that empowers us to build me meaningful relationships, navigate challenges and resili with resilience, and contribute to a more compassionate and connected world. So where's your loyalty? That was the main question. It could lie in a favorite sports team, and you give them your utmost support. You could be loyal to your workers and have a relationship that helps them work harder. In the Bible reading today, it talks about how greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Very wise words of the Apostle John. He is assuming that you will be loyal to one another and have such a strong relationship with one another that you will be ready to give up your life for one another that you will lay down one's life for one's friends. Okay, fine, maybe that is a bit too far. He wasn't literally talking about dying for your best mate, but you get the idea. You should have a bond so strong, you would be so loyal to another guy that you would be willing to give up your life. Again, not literally dying because they decide it would be funny. Let's go back to the question. Where is your loyalty? This short yet thought-provoking question goes deep into the depths of our relationships and allegiances. It challenges us to examine values and commitments that guide our choices and actions. It challenges us to ask questions about our loyalty. Are we being loyal only to ourselves or to others? Do our loyalties lie within the small friend group or do we extend them to the greater community? In a world where loyalty can be tested and pulled in various directions, this question urges us to examine and define our ability to judge what is right and what is wrong. In the end, our answer reveals how we build our relationships and shape our identity. Over time, your loyalty towards something can waver, but don't let this stop you from keeping faith in this particular thing. In my instance, many of you will know the football club Liverpool. In 2019, they won the UEFA Champions League, 
In 2020, they won the UEFA Super Cup and the English Premier League. In 2021, they won nothing. In 2022, their performance was even poorer. But my loyalty will always be within this club. Always. Unless they fall into relegation. That was a pretty bad example, so let's have a think about your experiences. Has your loyalty ever been weakened or worn out? If so, when? But why even bother trying to be loyal to something? What if a frustrating event has caused an argument and the unbreakable bond has suddenly broken? If this is the case, you have a problem. A person that has supported you, believed in you, and even loved you has fallen apart from you. Loyalty keeps these relationships and nurtures them into something truly special. Make sure you go back and apologize to them. Make it seem like that event never happened. If you lose your loyalty towards a favorite sports team, well, I mean, you could apologize to them, I suppose. Loyalty is more than just a promise. It's more like a dedication to something or someone. Loyalty is an important value, that, but we can not... We cannot simply be born loyal. It is something that can be earned through six simple steps. Number one, let everyone express their thoughts and feelings. Just be patient about what someone says and don't get so moody about it. If you disagree, don't be so judgmental like a few people I know. They would probably feel the same for you. Number two, communicate consistently. If you're feeling a bit on the downside, Make sure you tell someone close to you, whether it be a friend or family member. It helps you understand that there is someone by you. If someone tells you that they are pr feeling pretty meh, let them know you got them. Number three, lead from the front. Get your hands dirty. People leading from the front have earned the admiration and loyalty of their fellows. Leading from the front means setting the example. And instead of telling others what to do, do that thing with them. Number four. Show kindness to everyone. This is really a simple thing to do. I'm not even gonna say much about this. Just be kind. Number five, encourage and support others' actions. If someone is not doing something to your standards, maybe it's just the best they can do. Don't make them feel worse about what they have done. Encourage them and tell them what they can improve on. And finally, number six, just be human. Be the person that carries on with their life, not trying to ruin another person's. Maybe pay attention to small details, like others' names and what others are doing on the weekend. If you do something wrong, remind yourself that you are human. You can't be perfect. With these steps in mind, I want us to think about the questions that were earlier asked. What does loyalty mean to you? Where does your loyalty lie? Are we being loyal only to ourselves or to others? Do our loyalties lie within the small friend group or do we extend them to the greater community? Has your loyalty ever been weakened or worn out? If so, when? Why bother trying to keep loyal to something? And the last one, where does your loyalty come from? I now leave you to ponder these questions and the words of Jane Austen. There is nothing I would not do for those who are really my friends. Thank you. So, let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for our relationships, family, schools, and our country. Thank you to all those who are loyal to us. Help us to be steadfast in my relationships and stay faithful to the duties and responsibilities that those relationships entail, even when they may be difficult. We ask this in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, we pray together in English. Our Father in heaven, 
hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Kia as so the season begins, Year 9 Chapel Services 2020-23, we actually talked about setting the bar this morning. It's the first one. This is the first cab off the rank, 9FW Group 1, and so they had to set the tone right from the beginning. And boys, to be honest, I didn't expect you to set it that high. That was an incredible, thought-provoking, provocative, intelligent, and life-giving service you've given us today, but not just the, the talk itself, which was brilliant and brilliantly delivered, but also the prayers and the thoughts and all that you've put into that, and the true or false stuff as well. So Thomas and Daniel, Ryan and Liam, thank you, and we congratulate you heartily. It was a great start to this season. You've done an awesome job. Let's give them a big round of applause, please. <laughs> some really good thought-provoking stuff for us to take into today around that, that theme of loyalty. And kind of in that respect as well, well done to all those who joined in with that true or false. That was great to see that participation. It's unfortunate some of you were a bit lacking in that space. You know what it's like to be here. You've been here yourself a few years ago. So let's make sure that when the Year 9s are up here leading these activities, particularly alongside the Kororo and their services themselves. Let's just get things right for them to show our support for them as well. Okay, so just a little bit of a, an appeal really, but thank you to all those who did participate and will continue to do so over the next few weeks as well. Just a couple of other things. Keep up to remind you, jackets off before we come in. Jackets under your seats, okay? We're not in the rest home yet. We don't need to keep our knees warm against the cold chills. Okay, the heating's been on all night. Rest our uh, jackets under the seat, and let's just drop our volume levels before we come in. Okay, until we can nice and be still, reflective in the space, just waiting for that eight o'clock start. Just a couple of things to get right, to show loyalty to this folly, to show loyalty to our quarter, to our school as well. Just the things we just need to tighten up on in this space as well, so we don't lose that ground, okay? Just an appeal from me to, to get chapel right right from the start. So again, thank you 9FW Group 1, and we look forward to Group 2 this coming Thursday. St. Jones ukulele, uh, that's on today as well. We've got no Tom today. Tom is not very well, and so we're going to be uh, without our musical genius in that space today. So those involved in that, we need, need to dig deep today and meet outside chapel 12.40, ready to go. The next charity day is two weeks' time. So it's August the 8th, it's a Tuesday, slightly different day of the week, so it's going to be a Tuesday, non-uniform day, and that $5 minimum to raise money for um, our charity appeal is for the Refugee Orientation Centre Trust. So it's for the Refugee Centre today, uh, next week in two weeks' time. In this particular month of August, they're running an appeal to raise or to complete their fundraising for their minibus, which they really desperately need. And they've got a generous donor who's agreed to match dollar for dollar every dollar that they raise in August, somebody will match dollar for dollar. So the more we can dig in on this particular day, it's gonna double in size um, in terms of our contribution to their minibus appeal. So it's a great opportunity. I think this time it's day houses on the food, and boarding houses on the activities which we don't charge for. And there'll be more details coming out about that. Final results for the charity relay financially, just to share that with you, 19,698 was absolutely fantastic. Well, our target every year is 16,000 New Zealand dollars. And we hit it three and a half thousand or more, way over that total. So fantastic effort, you can see the totals there. And you can see those who really knocked it out of the park. So 
Well done. Clark House, nearly $7,000 there. That's an absolutely stunning effort as well for the charity relay. So on behalf of Sue, the team in Flame Cambodia, this is going to keep one of those education centres fully staffed, fully resourced, operating for the next 12 months. So well done. Be proud of what you've achieved in that space. And council meets tomorrow, 1.15, here in the chapel. Again, we'll be planning that charity day, which is coming up in a couple of weeks' time. And I can just see the skiers, all of those involved in this season at morning tea today. So let's bow our heads. Let's have those words of 9FW Group 1 ringing in our ears, to be in our minds, to be in our hearts, about loyalty, where it lies where it comes from. So may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and our minds in the knowledge and love of God, of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be upon us, those we love, those we care for, those that we are loyal to us, loyal to, and those who are loyal to us this day and all our days. Amen. Katie Pye, let's stand for our closing hymn. A hymn all about loyalty. I vow to thee, my country. Let us conclude our service by saying together the words of St. Paul's grace in Tadeo and English. Kiatato, kiatato, kato. Tiatafat, tato, riki, oihu, krati. Mitaroa, o teatua, mete, finfia, taitawa. Kito wairo, tapu, ake, 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 amine. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forever and ever. Amen. Go in the love of God, the peace of Christ, and the dignity of the Holy Spirit. Kia kaha, kia haere, kia tapu, kia pono. Be strong, be happy, be holy, be loyal, and have a great day. Thank you, Mr. Dunlop.